Today I'm gonna to share my morning and afternoon routine with you. I'm gonna be very transparent here. This is not in real time. This is a reenactment. My routines are sacred to me. When I take the time to do them, it's hard for me to be able to enjoy them and be present and film at the same time. So what I'm gonna show you is basically a reenactment of everything that I do. Certain moments I am genuinely, you know, like if I'm pulling a card, I'm genuinely reading it. Or if I'm writing, I'm genuinely writing. Am I in my thoughts and as present as I normally am? No. So I'm gonna show you my routines today and I hope you can appreciate that. So let's get into it. If you're new here, by the way, my name is Ashley and I make spiritual content. Um, <laughs> haven't been so great at it lately. I've been slacking lately, but I am coming back to my channel and have some cool videos for you guys. So let's get right into the video. All right, so the first thing that I do is I wake up looking a hot ass mess. Sorry, I'm beautiful. Yes, I am beautiful. I know that, but do I feel my most beautiful in the morning? Absolutely not. I look a hot ass mess. When I first wake up, I don't feel like getting out of bed. So I kind of just lie there and try to like daydream a little bit. And sometimes I end up falling back asleep. Sometimes I daydream. And this is my way of manifesting through visualization. I highly recommend this. It's a pretty easy, lazy way to manifest just visualization. You don't have to write. You don't have to script. You don't have to look at the vision board. You just eyes closed, basically daydreaming. You know when you have a crush on someone and you like fall asleep thinking about the made-up scenarios that you over romanticize in your head? I know we all did that or do that. It's basically just like that except with your life goals and everything else in life, not just a crush. So that's what happens in the morning. I get myself together, I brush my teeth, I wake up, and I try to avoid my phone. I have been bad with that lately, I won't lie to you. but. I am trying to get back into avoiding my phone in the morning for at least the first half an hour to hour of my day and at that point, you know, I check all my notifications but prior to that I try to just keep my mind still for a little bit. Alright, so after I do that, I get myself to the bathroom and, you know, I get my life together. I get myself presentable depending on what I'm doing that day, I shower, I brush my teeth, I do all of that. I feel like I can't really start my day super productive if I look and feel sloppy. For example, if I haven't showered and my hair is a mess and I have crust in my eyes and I'm wearing pajamas, it's not easy for me to just sit down and get work done the same way that I can't get work done in a dirty room. I don't feel ready to go. I feel like in order to truly get into my workflow, I need to get myself together. I don't know why, this is just how I am. It's the sense of discipline that I've created for myself when you're working from home or when you're self-employed. It's very easy to become lazy, especially when you're self-employed. Forcing myself to get presentable helps me get into that work mode. So I do that. After I do that, I like to make myself a cup of tea. I, yeah, tea or coffee, depending on the day, but usually tea, I'll make myself a cup of black tea to get some energy, and then I will bring my tea to my room, and that's when I'll check some emails, and I'll figure out what the energy is of the day. So, a lovely human named Kalina, who as you guys may know if you've watched some of my videos, she is a psychic that I really trust and I really admire her work. Uh, she created a calendar, which is a really unique calendar, which basically is tailored to your zodiac sign, or like I guess your chart, and figuring out um, what days are best for you to tune into certain energies. So this is something that I like to check in on daily. I, I mean, the first half of the month, I was like not really feeling like myself, so I wasn't checking on it. I kind of wish I did though, it probably would help me, but I've been getting into a more of a routine of just checking on the calendar. So how this calendar works is it basically tells you what you should focus on for the day and where your energy lies throughout the day. And basically, like I said, just the energy. So when you check in on that, it will be very helpful to you because you can figure out where you can reach your most potential in that day. So I highly recommend checking out this calendar. I think it's really cool. If you guys want to check it out, it's almost the end of the month. So she's offering 50% off. So if you do want to take advantage of the September one, just to get a taste of what it's like, I'll link it below. And if you do like it in October, you can check out the full month and see what that's like for you. But I think if you do want to try it, now is a good time because it's the end of the month. So it's 50% off, which is pretty cheap. And they're very affordable, super affordable. So 50% off of the original prices, next to nothing. So I definitely recommend checking that out because I like to use that to figure out what's going on with my day. So after that, I like to do a little more spiritual stuff. You know, I get cozy, I sit down, I cleanse my space, I cleanse myself, I set intentions, I meditate. Um, I didn't bother showing my meditation in this video because I just feel like it's fake. You know, I've done it before, it feels very cringe. Probably do it again, but wasn't feeling like doing that today. 
um, so I'll meditate and then I'll pull some tarot cards, see what the energy is looking like, a little more specific and figure out what I should focus on, what's blocking me, things like that. I ask my spirit guides certain questions sometimes and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just say, hey, what's the energy today? What should I focus on? Other days I'll be like more specific, you know? So I pull some tarot or some chakra oracle cards and then I get my handy dandy journal and I'll journal my feelings out. Um, I think it's really good to do a mind dump at the beginning of the morning. So for example, you roll out of bed, you grab your journal and you write your heart out. I like doing that as well, but sometimes I, I forget. So I get to it after. Um, sometimes I journal at night, it all depends. Sometimes I don't journal at all. But I think the best way to incorporate journaling into your morning routine would probably be to do a mind dump right at the beginning of the morning as soon as you wake up and you have the energy to do so, write out the first thoughts on your mind. It's really interesting to see what your mind comes up with at that time. Sorry, there's a train going by, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's pretty loud. Anyways, after I do my journaling and my routines, I like to eat so this morning i was just cooking some sausage for later i actually made more of a breakfast off camera but i did just make some quick sausage so i'd have a lunch today but i did make a proper breakfast i had eggs with ham and potatoes it was delicioso but yeah i was just like prepping some sausages so i don't just eat a big ass italian hot sausage in the morning but that sounded oh my god that sounded so wrong <laughs> wow don't do that in the mornings. I don't. Anyways, I mean, some people do. People that are dating Italian men. Anyways, I'll do some chores in the morning if I need to sweep or empty the garbage, take out the recycling. I will do that. I mean, I'm not typically the one that empties the garbage in this home. Usually my cousin does. Shout out to Brenda. Um, but today I was feeling like being a really good roommate, so I took the garbage out. I took the garbage out. And um, yeah, I mean, the place was smelling because I made uh, shrimp yesterday and all the shells were in the garbage. And sorry, I know this isn't part of the video, but like it smelled so bad. So I'm like, I gotta get this shit out of here, especially because I had a guest coming over after. And I was like, ew, like, <laughs> ew. So yeah, I did that. <laughs> So after that, I would typically start my day either I get on the computer to get to work or I go for a walk or I head to a cafe. I do love my little hot girl walks as we call them. I love me a good hot girl walk. I tried to go on one, but I had a really big headache so I actually had to get on the bus and just bus home from where I walked to because I couldn't even do the walk back, which was so sad. Um, so yeah, I'll do a hot girl walk uh, or I will work at a cafe and I love doing that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and gain something from it. I'd love to hear about your morning routines. My routine hasn't changed too much. I think it's just getting a little lazier. Um, I just want to normalize that. Having a simple morning routine is very, very much okay. You don't have to journal and pull tarot cards and meditate and do all that every single morning to feel like your best self. Wake up and have a giant ass glass of water. That's enough. I don't do that. I should do that. Wake up and take your fucking vitamins. Wake up and have a ginger shot or a smoothie. If that's your routine, that's your routine. Honestly, I think it's very, very important to just establish some sort of routine for yourself, but it will look different for everyone. So don't put too much pressure on yourself to be that girl or live a soft life or whatever. Like just do what you gotta do to make yourself feel good, whatever that looks like to you. So yeah, I hope that you gained something from this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, say hello, introduce yourself if you're new. But with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Wow, that sounded like so lovely. I've never said that before, but I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.